Hi guys, I'm Clinton and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can go back to Windows 10 from your Windows 11. So there are two things involved. Uh, it's either you are using your Windows 11 for more than uh, 10 days or you just um, you just started using it and it's not yet up to 10 days. So there are two things you can do. There are two methods on how to go about this process. So I'll be showing you guys on uh, this without wasting much time. What you have to do is to go on your search and you have to search, um, go back, go back to Windows 10. Um, I don't have the, the, the files that I, I can be able to use to recover my Windows 10 because I've been using this uh, Windows 11 for more than 10 days. And I think the, the recovery, the, the recovery file has automatically deleted so there is there is something you have to do i'm going to show you guys um um for those of you that for those of you that uh, are still using yours um newly less than 10 days this is how this is how to go about it when you come over to the search bar you have to impute go back to windows 10 automatically you'll see uh something showing you uh, but it's just going to be under your uh, system recovery all right once you open your settings once you open your settings and you can see from from this part it's showing me that this part is grayed out on my because i don't have that file anymore so but those of you that still have it and that means you have been using yours for less than uh, 10 days so this is what you can do i'm just going to be using pictures uh to visualize what it's going to look like so you're going to come, wait, I'm going to open some pictures for you guys. Okay. So, so this is what it's going to look like for those of you guys that. All right. So this is what it's going to look like for those of you that see, I have that file. When you click on, um, when you click on. Uh, when it, what it says go back automatically you will be redirected to this page here you're gonna see some questions they're asking you why are you going back you should just basically pick one of these but for me i think windows 10 seems more reliable so you after you after you've done that you click on your next and the next picture it's gonna show you um uh, do you want to update the windows all you have to do is to 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 say no thanks and then you have to go to the next step and it's going to show you like what you need to know uh you'll be you'll be unable you'll be you'll have to reinstall some applications like on here it's going to tell you that you can keep some files and your files will still be there but some of your applications is going to be wiped out so you have to click your next and once you click your next, they will show you this, uh, telling you that make sure to remember your password before doing this. And that's everything about this part. So automatically, once you once you once you get to this step, uh, automatically the windows will start to um, take you back to your Windows 10. That is for those of you that have this file still intact. So without uh, wasting much time. I'll take you guys over to the next step. For those of you that have your um, system recovery, and it's just showing this way, you have been using this for more than 10 days. All you have to do is don't panic. You have to do is to go onto your, your browser and you will have to search for, you, ha you will have to search uh, this. But So I'll just move this away a little bit. So from here, you, you can see what it's showing. You have to just go into this. I'll be dropping this in the description anyways. Well, it's just uh, Windows, Windows 10. And then once you're inside the website, you have to click on download just under create a Windows 10 installation media. So once you're done downloading that, they are going to take you all the way. Then you can open the, the file you just downloaded. And what you have to do, you, you just come over here and you have to run it. So I'm just going to click on mine right now. 
but there is something you need to to know before you do this um if you are if you are going to be um if you are going to be downgrading back from your windows 10 sorry from your windows 11 back to your windows 10 uh you have to know that before you install uh before you proceed with the installation make sure all your files have been backed up because you won't have the option to like select what files and what files to keep and what files not to keep automatically those options will be grayed out so that's one thing you have to note here okay so the next thing you have to do is to just um go over to this file you just downloaded and run it as an administrator automatically there are no other ways to do that you right click and then you run as an administrator so you get these windows and this part usually takes a few while so i'll have to like make the video um kind of skipped on some parts so that you don't waste your time here so once we're here it's telling us to wait a while it's getting a few things ready and it actually takes time let's say roughly this whole process down to when you'll be installing it will take you about um 20 minutes so you can just like keep on using your your system while you're waiting because it doesn't interrupt the whole thing while we're just waiting you can just keep on doing your thing and make sure make sure guys make sure that you are backed up on all your files make sure you are really backed up i will be dropping i'll be dropping a, a link in the description on how you can how you can back up your files in case you don't know how to do that on your windows i'll make sure i drop that so that it will be able to guide those of you that don't know how to back up and i hope that will help all right guys so if you find this information in this video um really helpful uh though we have we are not yet done but don't forget to like the video support me um go ahead and just um subscribe to the channel and say stay subscribed now uh, that that will really help the channel to grow and i will really appreciate that all right guys as you can see now this part is open and all you have to do is to accept so as you can see from here all we have to do is to accept the terms and condition even though we are not going to be reading that but of course i trust my look i don't trust them but i i just have to just click that you know all right so it's telling us getting a few things ready this process actually takes a little while so while waiting you can just be doing other things you can be doing other things like um if you guys have any uh requests like anything you would like to know on how to um go about it like any tutorial or something you can just drop that on the, the on the comment section and I'll, I'll i'll make sure i i make a video on whatever problem you are facing on your computer and i'll make sure i will send it to you directly so that you can be able to watch it or you can just go ahead and check other uh, youtube channels so that you can get the information and not to waste your time but you can also go to my channel and check out other videos that i'm making i'm sure from there you might learn one or one or two things so this is just here we're waiting um so you guys can go in the comment section and you can just say something about the windows 10 and the windows 11 what you really prefer about both you can just like say something like what drop your comment in this in the comment section what's the reason why you are downgrading back to your windows 10 i would like to know what you guys think about this uh, all right so we're here now it's saying what do you want to do automatically you have to leave it here on your upgrade this pc even though it doesn't look like an upgrade so uh, there is another option here that says um create installation media usb flash drive for another computer this is if you want to make the the you want to put in the um um file in the usb so that you can be able to um, upgrade another computer just from your usb so we're not going to be doing that here 
we're just going to do upgrade this pc now and you click on your next and it's going to take a few it's going to take a few it's going to take a few um so this um this progress is just going to go in here uh, all right I'll, for me i'll do i'm just going to pause this uh this record i'm going to pause it and continue once it's already done all right guys um so now it's almost over and once it's done verifying the downloads so from here all we can see is it's trying to verify our download and we're getting this option about right guys um so after that uh part it's gonna take a while then we got to this new window and it's not gonna take much time on this last part so from here we can see the updates are installed but windows 10 setup needs to reset restart for them to work after it restarts we'll keep going from where we left off okay, okay so from here um we all we just have to do is to read the terms and condition and then go ahead and click on accept okay so this is the final stage guys so after this part um there is something you have to know um this is the this is this this is what comes with with you not trying to go back to your windows 10 before 10 days so if it's after 10 days this is how it's, this was going to look like uh like i said you can choose uh, to keep personal files only or to keep your personal files and apps um everything will be deleted including files and apps and settings so make sure you're backed up before you proceed with this section so um this is basically the end of this video so once i click the next um the installation is going to start so i won't do that now so i will just have to round round up to this video this was a very helpful video you can go and like the video go ahead and like the video or subscribe to the channel to support i really appreciate that uh in the comment section you should just um say something tell me uh, the reason why you are going to be uh, downgrading back to your windows 10 like what are your reasons what is the ups and downs uh, you encounter that's making you do this uh, for me, uh, I don't really like the way um, a lot of features went out of the Windows Windows 11. That's the reason why I'm going back to Windows 10 until Windows 11 is going to be better. All right, guys. Uh, till the next video. Um, see you guys. Stay safe and love you guys. Peace.